Hello, all you wonderful people on YouTube. Surreal Canine here with more La Milana 2. In the last episode, we uh, met Phobos, the one of the uh, philosophers who is discover who is uh, investigating the ruins. Uh, with his help, we made our way into the Eglana ruins, which is a land of exile from La Milana proper. So, in this episode, we are going to continue looking around. Don't really know a whole lot of what there is to see here, but uh, we found some stuff already, and we're going to keep looking for stuff. Of particular note is... Uh, not here. Uh, Sigin's husband is uh, being trapped by po is being exposed to poison water. He's trapped in the room below the statues of the three goddesses. Poison water drips down from the beast statue, hung above his head. Now, uh, that absolutely sounds like a puzzle, so we are going to have to find a place that matches that description. Ooh! Hello, Carbuncle. <laughs> That's adorable. They fall on their butt after they fire their head laser. Gotta get higher up. Looks like the roots are above here. There's got to be something there. Hmm. What's this? This is Erd's Root, a path guarded by the dr black dragon Nidhogg. A road to the land of the dead. Hmm. That looks like something I uh, might be able to take a screenshot of if I... Uh, had the right kind of whoops. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if I had some kind of software that could read murals, I bet we could get some uh, new software out of that. Ooh, what's this? It's a thing. Mamulana uh, numeral etched in that wall there. That's interesting. Whoops! <laughs> Okay, uh, Umisa, you're kind of not the best at keeping your footing. At least the door stayed open for us, though. These words are written on the mural, but they're too big to scan. Try using specialized software. Okay. Hutataka! Ho! Ho yo yo! <laughs> it's gonna be a uh, plenty of room for nonsense in this let's play and I'm pretty good at video games but this is just crazy beans oh that dissolved the uh, barrier over there okay that's interesting the path protecting the beast god Sekhmet is protected by five mantras a path woven of five mantras that sounds familiar. Got some shurikens. These runes are full of mysteries. Moving forward, I'm going to leave the Crypt of Mungo Jumba for later. Didn't think I'd move all the way forward to the next life, though. <clears throat> this is, uh... Evidently a mural. Or, or an origin seal. Lama numeral one, signifying origin can be destroyed with a sigil of the corresponding character. We do not have one of those yet. Oops. Hi, Carbuncle. What's that round sigil-like thing? I wonder if you need something special to work it. That would be my guess, Mr. Skelleman. Ooh. Huh. Uh. Can I not make this jump yet? Ooh. I guess not. Alright, that's fine. This takes us back to that room. Guess we can't do anything. Hello? Is this, uh... Skold's Root? This, uh, sounds... Skold's Root continues to the future. Ratatoska gnaws on the roots before heading to the treetop. Interesting. The water is slightly toxic, okay. Po 
puddles of water inside the ruins are poisonous. I mean, these ruins are set on killing the hell out of any intruders. The treasure's called a snail scale sphere that counteracts the poison. Also, you know how to swim? Use the jump button to swim in the water. You're now swimming, you can kind of wade through too. When you get out, swim while going upward. You gotta stay motivated to keep on moving up, you know? Statue of Skuld. One of the three goddesses in ancient Norse mythology said to control fate. Goddess of the future and duty. Nurtures Yggdrasil with water from the spring. Okay. What did, uh... What did Sigging say to us? Below the statues of the three goddesses. The room below them. Interesting. Yeah, can't do anything over here. Okay. And there's a beast statue, so... Oh, we're on this side now. Okay. Oh man, you can break the uh, carbuncle laser, that's cool. A seal, unlocked by four sigils. Sometimes they seal a path, sometimes power. Good to know. Unfortunately, we do not have the origin sigil yet, so uh, we're not going to be able to do much right now. Let's carry on up. Or, or, um, yeah. Alright, we can't make any of these jumps easily. Hello, bunny. He's a bun bun. Bun bun bun. Let's go this way. Oh, these are the three goddesses. Got it. So, uh, Siggy's husband is down there, I suppose. The goddesses looked upon the wielding power and wept. They looked upon those wielding weapons, too, and wept. Huh. Statue of Urd, one of the three goddesses in ancient Norse mythology, said to control fate. Goddess of the past and death, nurtures Yggdrasil with the water from the spring. Verdandi, goddess of the present and life. Interesting. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> Watch where you're whipping! Achievement get. When the goddesses weep, the spring shall run dry. Marking the beginning of the end for Yggdrasil. Who's wielding power? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> okay. That's weird. I feel like there should be a mechanism for this around here somewhere. Oh no! I almost got smushed! Oh, did that lower the uh, the block? Is that why I solved the puzzle instead of uh, it being a trap? Okay. What is this? This is Verdani's root. The path to those who have dwelled in this land since ancient times. Interesting. The statue's eyes are glowing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, apparently we can't, uh, check that skeleton yet, because we can't sink. Go figure, right? New message! That gate is the same as the one you used to enter Eglana. It can't be opened without a race possessing the mother's memories and some sort of power related to the mother. It seems it can also be opened by undoing some kind of mechanism, so you'll have to use your head. Interesting. How do you get into the room back there? I guess you just gotta grab onto the column and take a leap of faith. <laughs> what am I, a ninja? Okay, we're gonna need the grapple claw for this. The path bent from the roots blocked the Yggdrasil Gate. Beyond the ancient land of origin, the ice fire treetop, the land of ongoing warfare, the immortal battlefield, the land where the future of the Yggdrasil is set. Anfum. I don't speak Norse, sorry. Yeah, I can't do anything about this room yet. 
Besides, that's a birth seal on the wall there. We... I just don't know yet. Yeah, these doors. Uh, they only open one way. There were similar doors in Maze of Gallius, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Ooh. That didn't work. Oh no! I'm close to dying. Hello, platform! Okay. Now we can get across. Ooh, we can climb the ladder now, too. What's this? Okay, now we can get here. Why is that a thing? Very curious. The trickster, sealed by the goddesses, who invites the world's end, shall be cursed to an eternity of poison. Hmm. Oh, sounds like we're gonna have to destroy the world. In true Raukau fashion! This is, uh, which goddess is this? Ord, the past and death. Okay. Hooey! I, uh, evidently I can't get up. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Oh. Uh, probably wasn't supposed to do that. Huh. I wonder... Maybe I should go back and talk to Zelfad. And also heal myself. Is that so? What happens if I go back in here? Is there... Anything worth checking out? <laughs> Guess not. Oh well. It's gonna be nice when you have a dash of some kind. Or faster movement, rather. Ooh, that healed a lot faster than the uh, healed dad. That's good. Alright. Got a couple of extra weights for ourselves. Now, I seem to recall someone in the ruins saying something about a shop before. Is this a totem? And you can't scan it. We All right, into the ruins we go again. Was it that guy that was setting up shop? Whoops. The La Milana Bargain Shop. Codices and... And also an Ankh Jewel. We are probably going to want that later. I don't know what these are. Uh, perhaps a new sub-weapon, but... Uh, whatever the case, we can't afford them. Heiner. Heiner obsessively observed a giant called Argos who would appear above ground at the village. However, he gave up his observation point to the philosopher Alcidana. Now Heiner is teaming up with Phobos to open a shop located in the ruins. Interesting. Alright, I guess that was kind of pointless. Good thing we can just warp straight back to the, uh, to the roots.
What the? Ooh, spiked. There's. Sh Is there a way to get down from here? Ooh, that didn't work too well. <clears throat> Probably gonna associate this area with the with the song Aqua Wish Forever. That's what was in the Kickstarter demo. It's a nice song. So let's uh, let's drop down here and see what we can get. <sighs> I was running away from some big ass monster and ended up here. If you can't be an be an opponent, you can come back after you've gotten stronger, right? I might be dusting bones, but I won't give up, Mom. What is all this? Power is concealed within Yggdrasil by mantras. Yggdrasil leads they who can harness the ten mantras. Leads the holder of the Jed to the end. Oh, hi. Okay, that's a thing. Fafnir acquired! Uh, is that a data ROM? Indeed. Legend tells of a dwarf whose duty was to guard treasure. This dwarf became the dragon Fafnir. So great is his power that he once made an enemy of the Aesir. It is said that those who taste his blood or heart will gain knowledge above all others. Interesting. Is that the Guardian? Oh no! I have fallen. Uh, we're probably going to want to get back up there at some point. What's this? That's what's known as a soul gate. Somewhat different from what was in La Milana. The light above the gate represents a number of souls. I think it means requiring the souls of some sort of guardians possessing immense power. Interesting. So yeah, if we uh, defeat enough bosses, it'll open for us, I guess. Spikes don't hurt if you walk through them instead of falling on them. That's it. This is way too many spikes for me. Heesh. My ass is gonna be sore tomorrow. What the heck happened in here? On the branches past this land lie the fortress governed by the ruler Odin and his company. The fortress was built by we of the Aesir tribe in order to unseal the Vanir who sought to destroy our mother, our lands. The gates are sealed by guardians. Interesting. Vey was once a member of Odin, the group ruling over the Aesir. Now he has lost all his authority and serves as a gatekeeper of the Divine Fortress. Ow. Oh! Okay, uh, don't whip that. Got it. What is the deal here? Word to the wise. Don't destroy the column. The golden rock stores the power of the stars. Oh, so that's why a bunch of bodies were lying around here. You only live once! That's why I made the trek out here. Now I realize what it really means. Never thought deaths could be so educational. We can't break it with our shuriken, so uh, let's say we save and come back here. You know, for science. How are we running up on? How are you up on 20 minutes already? Oh man. Could really use a soul stone or something. Yeah. Thank you, enemy, for obliging. I forget what you're called already. Wait, wait. 
Ooh. All right, what's in here? Anything? Nothing. Skeletons keep getting the drop on me, so I tried punching one to the on the ground to be safe. If I became skeleton, am I am I gonna get safety punched too? <laughs> Castlevania stairs! Good times. Who's in here? Hey, what's up? What can I do you for? Guild! A guild app, huh? Got it. Got no idea what you want to use it for. Are you looking for a hidden shop or something? Thanks, buddy. Buy all you want. Korobok! Ooh, also, let's load up the guild app. Yay! We'll alert user to hidden shops or rooms. Korobok seems like a lively merchant, but has the eyes of someone who wouldn't say no to murder. He claims the puppet on his table side can seem the soul of his own taking. He thinks of himself as a pretty stand-up gentleman. Interesting. We got a lot of six children around here. Very interesting. Ratatoska acquired. Let's see. Monster that resembles a huge squirrel. Seems to have lived in Eglana since ancient times and is thought to have originated there. Ratatoska will appear in various places, but its true form lies dormant in another part of Eglana. Ratatoska's strength is limited when it's physically further away from its true form. Interesting. What's the deal with this area? A candle stand of time. The candle stand adorned with a wheel of time pattern to which flames appear. Said to grant power to those who are worthy of stopping time. I see the uh, lamp of time is making a reappearance. That's the candlestick of time. It looks different from the one on La Milana. If you would carry its flame, you would have the power to stop time. <coughs> to carry it, you'll need the lamp of time relic. There's a candlestick of time in Eglana. There must be a lamp of time here, too. Anyway, that doesn't matter right now. It's best to remember things that don't matter now for later, you know? You who would stop time. Light will be bestowed upon you if you prove you have the power worthy of it. Cool. Let's see here. Where are we? No. The Vanir, who thought to destroy the Great Mother's world, exiled to this land the, the branches Eglana, wherein they were sealed. The Vanir must not be awakened. They are the negative counterparts we birthed. Okay. Can't do anything about that. Eh, yeah, but we can just go around. Go around, go around. I need more weights. Should have bought more at the shop above ground. Let this be a lesson to you. Better safe than sorry. I've got plenty of weights, so I see no reason to go shopping just yet. Nidhogg acquired. Nidhogg is a colossal black dragon with an oddly manufactured appearance who dwells at the roots of Yggdrasil. According to legend, he communicates the state of the roots to Ratatoska, servant of Resvelger, who resides at Eglana's treetops. His massive frame and fire-based attacks boast immense power. Those... Oops. Why can't I, uh... Okay, I guess uh, it's just never going to finish that sentence for some reason. <laughs> the seeking blue light sears flesh, rejecting all light. Cold steel alone may pass unscathed. Alright. Oh, I see. So the, uh... 
What it's saying is I can bypass the blue lasers with my shurikens. Alright, let's try it. Wait, what's that? Bust of Mimir. Beheaded by the Vanir. His severed head lives on through Odin's magic. Said to be highly wise, and an encanting in front of the bust will trigger a response. Okay, so that's where I get the mantra. Oop, I got squished. It was worth a shot, right? <laughs> Alright, uh, gotta do all that again. I did save most of the stuff I got there, right? Uh, saved some of it. And yeah, let's keep going. I wanna get all that stuff back. For some reason, I thought I, uh, Acquired less than I actually did. Oh well. Right, a Tusker. Buy the guild software. <laughs> there goes Carbuncle. Yep, 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 okay. Oh, okay. That's how you get through. There's a full heal right on cue. There's Nidhog. There's that. Oh, okay, that means we can drop back down easily. Got it. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm not really sure if there's anything we can do here. Scan this. Take note of the branches growing from Idrisil. The areas branching off beyond the gate. Those who fight and those who protect the like are unsealed within. This thing. Huh. Cold steel alone. Well, let's try something. Ah! Nope. Okay. I was wrong. Guess it's got to be tied to that birth seal somehow. Kingdom of the fairies who have foreseen the future of this world. Okay. The key to the secrets tend to be kept secret. Who'd have thunk it? It don't take that to mean you should go around recklessly hitting walls like me. Wouldn't you know hitting the walls with murals is kind of blasphemy? Take this advice from me, a man on his way out. Bye bye interesting all right I think it is about time we saved we did not uh we did not accomplish a whole lot other than finding a bunch of uh oh actually huh let's 
what's this? The All for Cirrus' Prophecy Part 2. Goddesses live in the root of e e roots of Yggdrasil. Three goddesses who spin time. The time-spinning goddesses keep the roots of Yggdrasil watered. The spring is forever protected to keep Yggdrasil alive. O oh, three goddess protectors of Yggdrasil, don't let the squirrel Ratatoskr get away. No place it visits is to be missing. The foul words of the black dragon Nidhogg that the water has run out shall reach Hresvelger in the treetops. Interesting. What's up with this stone tablet? It just has some myth written on it. No hits? Hints? Come on, give me a break here. Alright, well. I think it's time to teleport back to, um... Well, not to the village. Uh, <laughs> not to the village. That was dumb of me. Roots of Yggdrasil! Let's save and, uh, and uh, give it a rest for now. We'll figure out what the deal is with these runes later. Uh, there's one rune left that I kind of want to explore, and that is where we'll be going next time. See all you guys then. Bye-bye for now.